In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this very popular stabilization effect. What's up, my name is Eli Clark. I'm a sports videographer and creative at App State, and today we're gonna to be going over this stabilization effect. Now, a lot of you have probably seen this effect before, which is where like the head or maybe the football or basketball is just stabilized in the center of the frame and it looks like everything else around it is moving. So that is what the stabilization effect is. I'm gonna show you how to do it in both DaVinci Resolve and in After Effects. There's really no way to do it inside of Premiere Pro alone, but obviously Premiere has that dynamic link with After Effects. So no matter what software you're in, hopefully you can do this effect and take something from this video. So as with every tutorial that I do, I'm gonna talk about when you should do this effect and kind of how to shoot for it if you wanna shoot specifically for this effect. So hopping right into DaVinci Resolve right here, you can see if I'm gonna play the clip through that it's kind of, it's just a shot of a wide receiver running and his head kind of stays towards the middle of the frame. So it doesn't get all the way up in the top left corner, all the way up in the top right corner, which is what you want. And then you also want it to be a somewhat wide shot. So this is a pretty decently wide shot of him running, which is what you want because you're gonna have to scale in after the clip stabilizes. So if you can shoot this video in 4K, that would be ideal because that way when you scale in, you're not gonna lose much quality. But even if you shoot in 1080, it's not gonna be a huge deal, especially if you shot the clip well. So in order to do this effect, what you're gonna do is drag your clip into the timeline. You're gonna right click and hit open in Fusion page. Now this is gonna look daunting at first because what Fusion is is basically the after effects of DaVinci Resolve. And just a disclaimer, I am no pro in Fusion. I know After Effects way better than I know Fusion. And I actually recommend doing this effect in After Effects, but if you wanna learn how to do it in Fusion, um, I'm gonna show you because I do know how to do it. I just like doing an After Effects better. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you have your two nodes right here. So make sure you're clicked on this first node and you're gonna hit Shift and Space and type in Planar Tracker into your kind of effect panel right here. And then you're gonna choose this one right here and then it should put that node inside of these two nodes right here in between them, which is what you want. Then make sure you drag your playhead, the red and the yellow line right here to the beginning of your clip, which is right here. And then we're going to make track. We're going to keep operation mode on track and we're going to make perspective translation. And that's the only changes you need. Make sure you also hit set right here for your reference frame and what that's gonna do is set the beginning of your clip to this first frame, which is what we want. And then you're just gonna click on your video and make a rough selection of his head, just like that. And then once that is done, you have all these tools right here, which kind of look like how they do in After Effects. And then you're gonna hit this one, which is like play till the end or track from the beginning to the end, which is what we wanted to do. So if we hit that, you can see Fusion is gonna do its thing and track his head and it's doing a pretty good job. So it tracked his head perfectly right there. And then all you wanna do is come where it says track and hit stabilize. So then what that's gonna do, if I play this back, is gonna keep his head in the center of the frame and you can see it's just moving the frame around, which is gonna give us some black area. If we go back to our edit page right here, it's gonna give us a black area. So all you need to do is go to zoom and position and kind of keyframe it to where you don't see any more black. So right there, that looks good. If I zoom in and position it at the beginning to get rid of the black area and then play it through, you can see his head is stabilized and there's really nothing else you need to do besides obviously color the clip. And then what I like to do sometimes is maybe throw on a, what is it, a zoom blur so what that does is give you kind of this right here and then we can position this kind of in the center where his head is at and then let's dial it back just a little bit so then it kind of just gives you a more like surreal type feeling i guess but that is how you do it inside of davinci resolve really simple really easy but let's hop into after effects and do it in there okay so hopping into after effects we have our clip right here i'm gonna do it with a basketball clip since i just did it with a football clip and instead of tracking his head we're gonna track the ball when he shoots it and dribbles it so if i play the clip you can see this is the clip right there same as the last clip um, the ball is somewhat in the center of the frame it gets a little close to the edge right there but it's fine you see it's somewhat in the center of the frame there and it's kind of a decently wide shot so this is a pretty good clip to actually do this effect on so first things first you're gonna to want to go over to your tracker 
and we're gonna hit stabilize motion because that is obviously what we wanna do. So here is gonna bring up your track point. It's gonna bring up a big box right here and a little box. So on this little box, you just wanna make it big enough just for the basketball and then we're gonna move it right to the basketball and then make this big box just a little bit bigger than the basketball so that way that's the area that it's searching for. So then you don't wanna make the big box too big because if you do, then it's gonna take forever to render. So that's probably a good um, size right there. So then obviously what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna either hit this button right here to analyze the entire clip or you can hit this right here to go frame by frame and make adjustments if you need to. So that's usually what I like to do. I just think it's a little more accurate. And as you see, when we click this, it's just gonna follow the ball. So you can see it gets a little off the ball there but what I wanna do is just move it to be right on the ball. This is why I like doing it in After Effects better because you can like stop it like that and kind of make manual adjustments and it just looks a lot cleaner um, afterwards, especially if you have a harder clip that you're doing it on. So I'm just gonna go through here and when it gets a little off track, just adjust it and then keep analyzing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way through the clip and then come back. Okay, so once we have it all tracked, you can see it's made keyframes everywhere that the ball goes, and that's exactly what we want. So we go back to the beginning or the first frame, and we're going to hit apply right here, and then make sure to apply dimensions on X and Y, and then hit okay. And then what that should do is the same thing that it did in Fusion, like we said, it's gonna make the ball stay in the center, and then this is obviously gonna, the clip's gonna move around it. So it's gonna create some space right here. So when the ball gets to the very top of the frame, as you can see right here, that is when we're gonna have a lot of trouble. So what we wanna do is hit P and S on our keyboard so that we can open position and scale. And we want to position this to be as good as we can get it. So I'm just gonna kinda move it like this. And let's hope that's good for the whole video. So yeah, as you can see, when it gets down here towards the bottom, it comes back, um, the clip comes back up. So we're gonna have to move this again. So I'm gonna go right here to where it's at the top of the frame and we're gonna make a keyframe on this. And then we're gonna come here when it gets all the way up here and we're gonna move this, not that, we're gonna move this position back down a little bit so let's see i'm gonna move these keyframes here you just want to make keyframes to keep the ball in the center of the frame basically so you can see at the end we have a little bit more space so i'm just gonna make a position keyframe to bring this back down so let's see how this looks right here so I think that looks pretty good. We have made keyframes where the clip kind of messes up a little bit, where the ball gets towards too much to the top of the frame or too much to the bottom of the frame. So right here we made keyframes inside the top of the frame, and then right here we made a keyframe when it would have when it came up a little bit, and then right here we made a keyframe when the clip came down. So if we play it through, you can see the ball is stabilized right there and you have the exact same effect. This is why I like doing an After Effects a little more because you have a lot more control over it. Um, I'm sure you can do it in Fusion, I'm just not exactly sure because you know I really don't use Fusion that much. I'm more of an After Effects guy myself. But that is how you do the clip. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out at all, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for the next video. And I will see y'all in the next one.